this one is our stack stack machine. Stack stack machine. For stack blocks. Good morning, guys. And today we are going to now we are going to load our block making machine into the container. Now you see the container is over, over there. And today we are going to load three three pieces of the forty feet container. Three pieces of the forty feet container. This one is the first one. And you see now all of the machines here is the is are uh, in storage is ready are ready for loading now and also for the fiber pellets fiber pellets today is raining you see It's raining now. So today we are going to load all of the machinery, like the concrete mixer, the block machine, fiber pellets, into the container. There are three three pieces of the 40 feet container today, are ready for loading. And now what I want to make an introduction for you I want to show you uh, the items are ready for loading like this one is a concrete mixer this one is a concrete mixer with uh, you know if somebody see this mixer it will he will know it's a it's a little different from the others uh, mixer it's a concrete mixer, but you see the hopper see, with a hopper, with a lift hopper. So the lift hopper can be dropped down, can be followed down, and, and so for fit uh, the concrete material inside the hopper, inside the hopper, the hopper will be lift up, will lift up. So there will be open, open side. The material will be dropped down into the mixer inside the mixer from the hopper yeah The advantage of this hopper is can be save the labor. You know, if you don't have this hopper, that means you have to let the workers to feed the cement and sand into the into the concrete mixer hopper manually. So with this hopper, it will be help you to save the labor. So it can lift up the the sand, the cement, and stone dust from the ground, from the ground down ground, and lift up. And feed the feed the concrete, concrete material inside the mixer. You see, I want to show you the, the detail of the, uh, of our fabrication. 
see the welder we didn't uh, limit it we didn't lose any weld here's the motor it's part of power to the reduce our mixer for the mixing here's the control box for the mixer Okay, and there's another one. So our customer bought uh, two pieces of this kind of uh, concrete mixer with the lifter, with the ladder lifter. Here is the two pieces of the conveyor belt. Two pieces of the conveyor belt. And this one is QT4-24. Semi-automatic block machine. This one. This model is uh, called uh, QT4-24 semi-automatic block making machine. Normally, it, it uh, will come with the conveyor belt and the concrete mixer. It's like a simple production line for the block production. You know we fabricate a production, a, pro, a protection, sorry, a protection cover to cover to protect the electric motor inside. Because sometimes uh, if the the vibration is uh, is a vibration is uh, you know, we have you drop down some uh, concrete material like stone or some piece of stone. It will hard to see. Uh, sometimes it will can damage damage the electric motor. But with this cover, the protection uh, protection cover, it can uh, how to see it can also at the same time it can you know to 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 protect uh, the workers and operator. And from a detailed interview, you can find out you know our fabrication and design of the, uh, the machine. See the welder? See the welder. It's very nice. The welder is nice. The welder. Okay, and this model, this model is a little bigger than QT4-24. It's called a uh, QT4-25. It's a it's a fully automatic block making machine. It's also powered by electric uh, vibration motor. Which will be supplied, which will supply the vibration uh, force. Is the transform, the transform channel to feed the concrete material, uh, the feeding cart. Here, you see our color. why we painting this color to be red different which is different from the yellow because we just want to give give the some people to know it to pay more attention on it Here is the the box for the for feeding the pellets inside I think you are you will be clear about this, okay? Uh, 
Okay, this one is a very small block making machine. It's like a menu one. Menu means uh, you have to feed the concrete material by hand, by with a shower. The mold can be pushed. This particular small block machine is very simple and also the price is very good. It's a very nice price. So also for the for the some block makers who is the beginning, who is uh, who is uh, at the beginning process for the produce blocks, it will be preferred this particular model of the block machine. It's very simple. Here is the mold. It produces one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven pieces of the concrete blocks with three holes. And this one the mold can be pushed. So if you like uh, to know more about to try to know more uh, about this block machine, you can leave a message to me and I will send you the video. A working video for this block machine for you. Okay. And this one is another model. <coughs> and this model, the difference between this model and this model is all in the hopper. All in the hopper. This model have a hopper on to the block machine. Uh, the the uh, advantage of this hopper, you know, can be save the labor to feed the material by a shower. So it will use like this to open this see to open the hopper and, uh, the material from, from the hopper will be dropped down into in inside the mold uh, the mold box This one is a forklift. Actually speaking, it's a forklift. It's very uh, superficial and uh, high efficient forklift. So after the blocks with the pellets transfer out from the, the block machine, you know, normally we will give you the, the trolley or the barrel, which, uh, which you will use it for transfer transfer out of the blocks but this one is more easy it's like a forklift it can lift up it can lift uh, five three or five pellets at one time it's very nice by direct is powered by cylinder So if you want to know more this particular forklift, leave a message to me, I will send you more information. This one is very be easy. To make the different direction for the tires. So this one is a, it's a big block machine.
this one hydraulic pump for offloading the motor box. This one is the vibration motor to supply the power to the vibration box inside. Inside. Oh, it's not easy to see. Not easy to see. You see our welder? This welder is very important, so you have to make sure it's very strong and solid together with uh, the machine frame. See the hydraulic oil pump is very important for the machine. So we use the, the whole picture of the pipe to fabricate it. Here is the material cut. Feeding and splitting the concrete material inside the mold box. Here is the sensor to control the processing location of the machine. Here is the controller box for this pallet of machine. Now what we are going to load in is the the colorful material feeding system. Conveyor belt is the paper giving bricks mode. It's a block transfer system. All over here is the fiber pellets. 